Hill Doppers! What is up, my party people? It is so good to see you today. Happy Art Day and welcome back. Oh my goodness, you're gonna love what we're doing today. Today, you will need all of the creativity that you possess in that big brain of yours. So you know that creativity dial that we all have right behind our ear? Crank that sucker up to like a thousand. Because you're going to need all your creative juices. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are making fantasy tree houses. That's right. You are no longer a Hilltop student. You are an architect. That means someone who builds and designs buildings. And we are going to make tree houses today. Now we're going to draw this in our sketchbook. And you're going to get to make whatever kind of tree house you want to make. Anything you want to put in that tree house, you can. Before we get started, though, it's really helpful to see some pictures of tree houses to help us get started. Oftentimes, artists and architects and designers, all kinds of people, will brainstorm ideas before they start. Brainstorm is kind of a funny word. When I was little, I was like, is there a thundercloud? Am I going to get struck by lightning? What it means is you just come up with a lot of different ideas, and they're all kind of turning around in your head, thinking about each one, not sure which one you're going to pick, and eventually you pick a couple, and that's what you put on your paper. So let's talk about tree houses. I'm going to make myself small. Ah, I'm shrinking so that you guys can see me a little bit see the screen a little bit better. Let me, uh, no, I can do full screen. Okay. All right. Great. So when we talk about tree houses, uh, we don't have to just make a house in a tree. We can get weird with it. This one's got a ladder that goes up to a higher platform. Could be a dance floor. Could be a basketball court. I don't know. You can also go down this ladder to another platform. So triple level tree house. This one's just got a cool deck that goes all the way around. I like the slanted roof on this one. Doesn't just have to be a regular square with a triangle roof. Could be a slanted roof. This one is castle style. So it's got a tower in the center, rope bridge, and that cool swing back here. I love that. And it doesn't just have to be one house. You could have one house, two houses, three tree houses, all connected by bridges or ladders. This one on the sides even got a pool. Now this one over here on this side is two levels. So you can have a downstairs and upstairs. And that spiral staircase wraps around the tree is pretty cool. It also doesn't have to be just a square shape. We Lots of architects get experimental. Make an egg-shaped tree house. Why not? This style of house is called an A-frame. You can see it's shaped like the letter A. What I love about this one is it's got a little waterfall dangling off there. How cool is that? Playing a waterfall every morning. This is a cylindrically shaped tree house. So it's shaped like a cylinder or a tube. And it's got a little uh, fireman's pole down the middle so you can slide down and get to school. Now, once you've made the actual tree house, you may want to add more things to the outside of it. Swings are a great idea. You could have a net swing. You could have a rope swing. You could have a warrior ninja course with some like monkey bars and swings. Heck, you could even have a zip line through your forest. If you've already thought about swings, now we can start thinking about slides. You might want to have a slide to quickly escape from your treehouse. You could do a tube slide, a double slide, a wavy slide, and heck, why not? A fun slide. And when I was little, I was so scared of those. I thought I was going to go flying right off. <laughs> Once you've thought about swings and slides, the next thing is ladders, because we need some way to get up to our treehouse and back down out of our treehouse. You could do a rope ladder, like that little guy's climbing on. You could do a net ladder. You could do a step ladder. Or get fancy, make a roller coaster. Why not? Loop-de-loop. -loop. Just don't throw up on the roller coaster. I did that once. Once you've thought about swings, slides, and ladders, then you can think about water features. This guy made himself a little hot tub in the jungle. You can make it fancy with like underwater lights, have a little pool dance party. Or you could get really weird. This person bought an abandoned plane and turned it into a treehouse. This person made a pirate ship treehouse. What? 
you can get weird. Maybe you want a treehouse made of candy. You can eat it and live in it. Maybe you want to make an alien treehouse with like an anti-gravity chamber and a rocket launcher. I don't know. Maybe you want to have a sports treehouse, have like a hockey rink on the roof, basketball net on the side, maybe a skiing slope out back. It's up to you. Make this thing as cool as possible. Um, here's some examples that an artist has made. Lots of cool ideas for windows, uh, sub-level bunkers, railroad tracks in between, ladders going up, all kinds of fun stuff. I even like this one. It's got like a window in the tree, like the tree is part of the house. Um, so make it weird. Make it interesting. Make it fun. I can show you some of my examples really quick if you want to see them. Had some fun with pools and diving boards on this one. Uh, This one has a lot of like tube slides because I'm really into tube slides. Has like a lot of stairs too and a lot of um, ladders. This one I wanted to make kind of a playground over here. So I have like a double layer kind of play place. This one I wanted a dance floor with a disco ball. I thought that was pretty fun. Lots of trails and paths through the house. But it's also made of ice cream. I forgot to mention that. It's an ice cream house. Very tasty. The next one I started going to be an art house. So I've got like a pencil bridge and a paintbrush bridge. But let me give you a tip about making these tree houses, folks, because it can be hard to know where to start. I'm not going to show you step by step because I want you to use your creativity, but I'll give you a tip here. Let me get my marker. I recommend starting with the house first. So make that house or two houses if that's what you want to do. You know, give it some details, doors, decks, windows, all that kind of fun stuff. But once you've made the house, then add the tree. So here's the trunk. Here's the branches coming out. It's a little easier to start with that. So then the tree can be just kind of coming out of the house. So start with the house, then add the tree. Make sure you add a way to get up into the tree house and a way to get back down from the tree house. You can even add things down on the ground as well. Maybe you want a pool or a hidden tunnel or, you know, a soccer field. Why not? It's your call. It's your treehouse. So, ladies and gentlemen, when you're done with your awesome treehouse, make sure you send me a picture. I want to see all the awesome stuff you would add if you were the architect of your very own treehouse. Have fun.